Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program and welcome back to another aircraft tutorial. Once again this tutorial is aimed mainly at beginners but uh, well I hope there's a little something in there somewhere that the rest of you find useful. So in the first tutorial we uh, created ourselves a little fighter aircraft, got it set up, got it stable and balanced in the base game. In the second tutorial we threw some BD armory into the mix and looked at kitting our aircraft out for some air-to-air -air combat. For this tutorial we're going to move on to what seemed to be the next logical step and look at some ground attack, but uh, if we're going to do that we're going to need to build a few things first. So if we're going to be doing some ground attack we are going to need something to attack. So to begin with I've just set up this little uh, four-legged girder frame and uh, this is going to be the base for our ground units. So for all of our ground units we're going to need a couple of things. Uh, as with all BD armor units you're going to need some sort of command core. Uh, either a manned unit or a probe core, so we're just going to put that on there like that. We're also going to need some power, so let's get a bunch of F uh, Z400 batteries. We'll put a pair there like that, a pair there like that. That should give us plenty of power for however long our fights are. And of course we are also going to need a weapon manager. I'm just going to put that on the underside there. Let's turn off symmetry just on the underside like that and that's uh, all the AI uh, AI units you're going to need because it's a ground emplacement you're not going to need like a, a ground unit AI or anything like that. So for the first unit I'm going to put a goalkeeper cannon on the top so if we just get that lined up there like that. Beautiful. Uh, this is a 20 millimeter gun so we're going to need some 20 millimeter ammunition. Um, turn on symmetry, a couple there a couple there. And uh, that is our first little emplacement finished. Okay, so I've gone and stripped this back just to its core components again, just the, uh, the probe core, the batteries and the weapon manager. And now we're going to use this to build ourselves a surface to air missile unit. So uh, we're going to need the right turret and the one that comes with BD Armory is the uh, Jernus missile turret. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, like our goalkeeper turret that we've used, this also comes with its own radar system. Uh, I think that's the wrong direction, so let's just turn that round like that. Whereabouts do we want to place you? Probably about there. Yeah, that looks good. And now we're going to need some missiles. Now, uh, I, traditionally I think the surface-to-air missile is the Pack 3 intercept missile, but I find the AMRAMs work quite well. So we're going to use some of those. Now this turret, it doesn't snap easily. Um, you have to have the missile pointing in the right direction, so in this case I'm just going to press the S key. So it's pointing in the right direction. You can see the attachment point there on the top of that missile. So that will attach to those bottom rails. And if I bring it close enough, it'll snap. Yep. And I'm just going to uh, alt-click to get copies that are pointing in the same direction. And go along the bottom rails like that. Alt-click again. Q key a couple of times just to turn it over. And then just rinse and repeat on the top. Good stuff. So we don't need to do anything else there and we have ourselves a nice little surface to air missile unit. So the last remaining piece of the puzzle is the ground attack aircraft itself and for this we're going to be using the Whirlwind, the craft we've been developing over the last two tutorials. Uh, all I've done to it so far is to take off the missiles that were on it and to put an extra missile rail just in the middle underneath the fuselage there. Uh, another change I could have made was to swap out this uh, radome. This is the air-to-air -air radar. Uh, BD Armory does come with an air-to-ground radar, but none of the ground attack weapons that come with BD Armory use the radar guidance, so we're not going to bother with that for the moment. Uh, one thing you are going to need for a ground attack craft, unless you're just going to be dropping unguided bombs, is the FLIR targeting ball. So I'm just going to put that centrally under there. Turn it around so it's facing forwards. Um... That's quite close to the undercarriage, but with the uh, with the undercarriage retracted, that's not really going to get in the way too much. So now we just need some weapons. So for this, we are going to grab a bomb. We're just going to use a simple unguided bomb on the bottom there. Uh, I'm going to grab some of these harm missiles. Uh, just put on symmetry. Put those on the innermost missile rails. Um, are you clipping into the wing? No, you're fine. And then we're going to grab either some Mavericks or some Hellfires. 
Uh, the Mavericks are the more powerful of the two. It doesn't really matter much. They uh, they both work in pretty much the same way. So you've seen one, you've seen them both. But we're gonna, just going to just going to attach those there like that. So that is our ground attack craft finished. Let's go blow some stuff up. So here we are out on the runway with our little whirlwind. Uh, I've also gone ahead and deployed both our ground units here. I've set them a little distance apart. You might want to do that with your ground units. It just means that if one's hit, the other one won't get caught up in the blast. Uh, I've deployed these using Vessel Mover. I think I mentioned it in the last tutorial. Uh, but if you want to set up this kind of scenario yourself, Vessel Mover is indispensable. You can just spawn things in and very handy. I think I'll put a link in the description of the last video. If I remember, I'll also put a link in the description of this video. Um, but uh, all I've gone ahead and done is I've uh, I've turned the radars on on both of them. I haven't turned guard mode on, which is what you'd need to do to actually make these active. So just clicking here, or uh, let's get rid of vessel mover. Going into the little guard menu here and clicking here. I haven't done this. We're just going to do a simple weapons uh, demonstration to start off. Uh, what I am going to do is switch these over to the other team, though, so this will work. Good stuff. So uh, I will get this up in the air, and I will see you again in a second. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the harm missiles. So I'm going to go to our, we our weapons man uh, menu, select those, arm the trigger because they are a missile, and you can see they're trying to get a lock on, but it's not particularly particularly reliable, that's just how these harm missiles are. I'm going to try and fire one once I've got a bit of a lock. Yep, yeah, that one worked. I don't think I launched that one right. And that's just flying off into the distance. That one looked like it hit. Um, okay. Well, let's see if we can come round and finish the next one off with bombs. Okay, so let's try for a bombing run. I've got to try and line up this little bombing reticule. These are just um, unguided bombs. With the unguided bombs, this is how you drop them. Uh, also, the uh, the GPS guided bombs, which are a bit buggy at the moment, will also have a similar uh, similar reticule that you have to drop them within. But I'm going to try. I'm going to need to go a little bit over the other way, and I'm hoping that's pretty much dead on. So that's just how you uh, how you deploy the unguided bombs. Uh, obviously, uh, the uh, the guided bombs will have a much larger reticule. But yeah, that looks like we have taken out both those ground units. So now we're going to take a look at the FLIR targeting ball. Now this is how most of your targeted weaponry is going to work. We're just going to click on that from the modules menu. We get uh, this little view here, and we can move our camera. You can also see that little green dot tells us where our little camera is pointing. I'm going to try and get it roughly on one of those targets there. Lock target, that means it'll just stick to the point on the ground or the target at which you're pointing. We can zoom in and I can just do some fine adjustments on our aim. So that is now targeted. So if I go onto one of the laser guided weapons such as the, uh, the Mavericks and if we loose off a couple now they should home in on that target. Now you will need to keep this locked onto that particular target. If you start moving it about, the Mavericks are just going to follow that mid-flight. But um, we keep it there and it completely obliterates that unit. So I've gone ahead and lined up the next unit in our sights here. And now we're going to take a look at GPS guided weapons. So what we're going to need to do is bring up the GPS coordinator there. Just get rid of that. That's something from a, uh, a previous... Uh, game. Let's go. Now that we've got this locked on there, we can click send GPS. That will send the GPS coordinates to the GPS coordinator. And um, I'm just going to get us a little distance away and then we'll take a look at uh, what's slung under the wings of this little whirlwind here. So we've put a fair bit of distance between ourselves and the target, so now it's time to launch these missiles. Now these are the brimstone style cruise missiles that come with BD Armoury. And uh, to use uh, GPS guided weaponry, we need to select the weapon. We select the GPS coordinates of our target, and then it is just a case of firing the missiles off. Now these are extremely long range. Um, I fire them fairly close. These are subsonic missiles, so it takes them a while to get any particular distance, but um, hopefully these should do the trick. Yep, 
yeah, I, I think that just about did it. So just to end the video, I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one with these ground units, so let's turn on the guard mode, let's get the radar warning receiver up, because that will help a lot. We're going to need to go full throttle on the engines, and here comes a missile. Just pop some countermeasures, which I've bound to a key. And now we're going to go in with the harm missiles. Selecting a, uh, selecting a target seems to have helped, or it might have done. Oh. Oh, that was close. One of them doesn't look to have done anything. The other one... I thought it had lost tracking on the target, but it seems to be okay. Another missile incoming. That seems to have taken care of that one. Let's see if we can just switch the tracking ball across to the goalkeeper unit. And that's not going to bother us unless we get really close in. So, uh... Let's not make it too easy for ourselves. Let's charge headlong in there. What's the range at the moment? Four and a half. That should start firing when we get to about two. Let's launch a couple of those now. Doesn't seem that fussed about firing back, but there we go. So that will be all for today's tutorials. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it was useful for you. Um, if there's something you don't think I've covered there, then uh, by all means let me know in the comments. I'll try and answer any questions you might have there. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time.